We are not just Africans is the title of my book because African Americans are more than descendants of sub-Saharan Africans. We have been lied to about black history. Our ancestors include black Europeans and black Native Americans. When I was growing up, my mother made it clear that we were part Choctaw. So in 1968 or 1969, I took a survey at my high school, DuSable in Chicago, and found that over 40% of my classmates had Indian heritage. At the time, many people laughed at us because they only saw Lakota and Apache Native Americans on TV. Today, because of the World Wide Web, there are numerous pictures of black Native Americans. These Native Americans were black, and they were recorded by many great painters in the uh, 18th, 17th, and 19th centuries. These painters recorded the images of these black people. They showed that these black Native Americans did not belong to just one ethnicity. These black Native Americans belonged to various tribes and often they lived among or mongoloid Indians lived among them. Many people when they think about black Native Americans they feel that they should see black Native Americans especially racist whites with nappy hair. This is a misnomer. Black people do not have nappy hair. Nappy hair to an Afro-American is hair that is unkept. Black people kept their hair up. They used combs and oils. That's why, if you notice, m many black Native Americans did not have straight hair. With straight hair, all you could do is put straight hair into a ponytail or let the straight hair hang. No, most Afro-American Muslims, most black Native Americans, their hair, in a sense, was more kinky. That way they could put oil in it and they could make it any way in which they, writ, they wished. Alphonse de Quatrefages claimed that the black tribes were throughout the Americas. Some of these black tribes and called the Chacos, the Malavis, the Yaruras, and the Yamasis. Yes, the Yamasis. The Yamasis are a tribe that used to live in the Carolinas and especially in Florida. Many African Americans are descendants of these black Native Americans. Some of these black Native Americans were the Mandingo people, and other black Native Americans are mainly descendants of the Paleo Americans, Africans who had sailed to America as early as 100,000 BC. That's right. Black people were in the Americas as early as 100,000 BC. And we are not just Africans, the black Native Americans. We tell the story of these black people. We tell the history of all these black people and the contributions that they made to America. You will discover that when the first Europeans got here, they named the uh, Indians Indians because of the fact that these people were very dark skinned, just like the Dravidians of black of South India. These black Indians were just like Negroes in Africa, but some had straight hair and some in a sense wore their hair kinky, but they were all black Native Americans. The black Native Americans in a sense have been hidden from us. We have not seen the numerous pictures of these black Americans. What they did in a sense is that in the early days many of the Dutch and other uh, early peoples in the Americas depicted the Native Americans as black people. Later, in a sense, they decided to claim that the only black people in the Americas were Negroes. This was false. The first Indians, as you will find that we are not just Afro-Americans, were black people. In this book, I discuss some of the cultures and tribes that made of the various black Native American nations. It is said that like their African brothers, Black Native Americans organized themselves into small individual tribal villages. Organized as individual tribes and nations made it possible for Europeans to use divide and rule tactics to have the Indians fight and enslave each other. North American Europeans did enslave Indians during war, especially in New England. The Pequot War, King Philip's War, and in the Southeast, the Tuscarora War and the Yamasi War, plus the Natchez War, just to name a few and many of us have heard of the Great Seminole War. But ordinary Europeans, especially the English and French, purchased their Indian slaves from Indians. That's right. It was Indians who sold their people into slavery, just like Africans sold their people into slavery. 
The tribes would then organize themselves into confederations to meet threats from enemy Indian tribes or Europeans. These confederations were made of a black and mongoloid Native Americans. For example, the Iroquois were actually not a people but a confederation of six Native American nations. The Cayuga, the Mohawk, the Seneca, the Oneida, the Onondaga, and the Tuscarora. In terms of power, they are perhaps the most formidable Native American group in North America and the most represented in the imaginative work of the European settlers controlling at their zenith territory covering Massachusetts to Ohio and Quebec and Ontario to Kentucky. Yes, this entire area was controlled by black Native Americans. Much of what is now Georgia was a stronghold of the black Native Americans. These blacks lived predominantly from the Smoky Mountains in North Carolina southward as far as St. Augustine, Florida. For the vast majority of black Native Americans lived in California or along the eastern seaboard in North America. They belonged to many confederations including the Muscogean and Algonquin. Some of their tribal names include Choctaw, Tuscarora, Sekulon, Petawomek, Tamakra, Nanakok, Kachita, Seminoles, and Yamasi, to name a few. The Black Native American tribes mainly belong to the Iroquois, Muscogean, and Algonquin confederations. And we are not just Africans, you will learn the history of these Black Americans. You will learn how these first Americans made a very successful culture and civilization. You will learn that they taught the Indians how to farm and that they taught in a sense the Europeans how to farm also. You will also hear about the sad aspect of these black Native Americans who were forced into slavery and then they were erased from history through bureaucratic racism. This bureaucratic racism resulted from the fact that the black Native Americans were forced to declare themselves as free colored folk just like the, just like the former slaves and black indentured servants. This is the way that Europeans were able to take over their land. We are not just Africans, the black Native Americans is a book that is must reading for anyone interested in finding out the history of the black Native Americans. It is a book that will shock you, but it is a book that will inform you. It, will, it is a book that will let you know that we are not just Africans and that the black Native Americans are still here. They haven't went anywhere.